Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another edition of Dave's Diner. Tonight we're going to be making crab cakes. A lot of you just get crab cakes when you go out to dinner, but uh, we're going to show you how you make them at home using a good quality product and making a good aioli to have on top of it. So stick around and I'll show you how to make crab cakes at home. Thanks for joining me at Dave's Diner. Okay, now what we're going to need for these uh, crab cakes is a uh, good quality product crab meat and uh, you can find this uh, at your grocery store there's uh, several different brands I think there's about three but um, this is all good canned crab meat uh, so when you're doing it out of season you can do that and you're gonna need some diced onion a couple of eggs and breadcrumbs with that to bind it all together and a few good uh, seasonings from uh, the Cajun country and then we're going to do an aioli with some mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, and a good hot sauce. And along with a nice coleslaw to have with it. So that's what we're going to need to make the crab cakes. Okay, as you can see, we've got our crab out of the can. And uh, you can see all that. It's really a good product. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a couple whipped eggs. And on top of that, and we're going to add some uh, diced onion. We're going to add our Creole seasoning. And then this is a good product. This uh, shrimp boil, just add uh, about that much in there. This stuff goes a long way, but boy, I'll tell you what, it brings out the flavor in the crab dishes and any kind of Cajun cooking you're doing. And then you're gonna add your breadcrumbs. And I use seasoned breadcrumbs. So then what you're gonna have to do is uh, get your hands dirty and just get in there and just start mixing it around. Just like that until it gets to the consistency where you can start forming little cakes out of it. Okay, what I have here is uh, some of the crab and I'm just gonna take and form it into a cake, a little crab cake, just like that. It doesn't take much. You don't want to pack it too tight. But that's what it's going to look like. All right. Now, we're going to make the, uh, the aioli. And uh, an aioli is just a sauce that uh, people make. It's a mayonnaise-based sauce. And they put it on top of the crab cakes or any other seafood, Cajun seafood that they make down there. So what I usually do is start off with a little mayo, put in a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, and some more of this crab oil. I'll tell you what, this stuff, be easy with this stuff. It's got a little bite to it, but a little bit goes a long way. Put a little bit of that in there. And uh, I've been watching these old boys down in the southern part of Louisiana and everything, and they use a good old Lee and Perron. And we're gonna put a little bit of that in there just to kick it up a bit. And we're gonna put some tomato ketchup in there. Like that. And then a good old hot sauce. You can use Tabasco or this Cristal. Crystal. And uh, I learned the hard way cooking for my family about people's tolerance to heat. So be easy with this stuff. I mean, people want to enjoy their food. They don't want to be burning their mouth off. So put a good amount in there. And if uh, you want some more, you can always add some more later to your dish. But when grandma comes over to eat, you don't want to piss her off with a bunch of hot stuff and can't enjoy her food. So, that's what you do. You mix it up like that. 
And what you got there is a good old fashioned aioli. Oh man, is that ever good. Okay, here we are. This is the next step. Cooking these bad boys. So you want to put them in a little bit of olive oil and a little butter. On about a medium high. And uh, just kind of brown them. That's what they should look like. Look at that. Oh man. These are looking good. Just like that, folks. And that's what they look like when they're done. We're going to pull these off and uh, put a little aioli on them and uh, give them a little taste test. Well, here it is, folks. That's the crab cake and the aioli sauce. You need to take a little bit of this. Just like this. Look at that. This flakes apart. Put a little bit of that aioli on there. Bon appetit. Mmm. You don't have to go to the restaurant to do that. Here it is. Just do it at home. It's a lot less expensive. Hey, thanks for joining me at Dave's Diner, and uh, I hope you guys try this recipe. It is awesome. Ooh, well, there you have it. Crab cakes. Now, you can make crab cakes at home and make them just as delicious as you have out in the restaurant, and you don't have to go out and spend all that money. So, again, Thanks for joining me at Dave's Diner, and uh, we'll see you next time.